Hello Mathosiast! Welcome again sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. Okay, for today's video, ang pag-uusapan o pag-aaralan natin is tungkol sa, ay tungkol sa finding the roots of polynomial equations. Now, yung strategy sa paghanap ng roots ay the same lang naman sa paghanap natin ng factors. Di ba? Last time we have uh, we discussed about finding the factors of the given polynomial equations. So pareho lang sila. Yung gagawin natin na strategy ay hindi iba. Yun nga lang ang pagkuha kasi ng factors, di ba? Kung matatandaan nyo, ang factors natin ay ganto. Wait lang. May sinusulat natin as x plus ganyan, of x plus 1, o tapos x plus 8. Ganyan yung mga factors natin, di ba? Now, this time, since roots yung hinahanap natin, kailangan yung value na mismo ni x yung gawin ninyo, or yung kunin ninyo. So, simply, pag nakuha nyo na, or naging okay na kayo sa synthetic division, whatever the test value that you used, yun na yung magiging roots niya. O, sige, let's try. Find the roots of x raised to 3 minus x squared minus x plus 1 equals 0 if one of its root is, uh, is equal to negative 1 or is negative 1. So, meaning to say, one of the value of your x here is negative 1. Okay? Since our highest degree dito or yung degree ng polynomial equation natin ay raised to 3 or 3, ibig sabihin, we have to have 3 roots. Dapat makakuha tayo ng tatlong roots. Since ibinigay na yung isa, kailangan na lang natin ng dalawa pa. Okay? Now, paano natin gagawin yun? Alam nyo yung P and Q or P over Q natin wherein our P is the numerical coefficient of our first term and our Q is our last term or yung constant term natin. Uh, by having that, kukunin natin yung mga possible factors nung P at possible factors nung Q natin. Okay? Di ba si P natin ay 1 and then si Q natin ay 1 din. So, ano lang ba ang factors ng 1? Dadalawa lang yun, positive or negative 1. So, walang kahirap-hirap ha. Kasi 1 lang naman nagkataon ito. So, ayan na. Pwede na natin gawin. Pwede na natin hanapin yung mga roots nila. Okay? Yung first step ko dyan, kahit ibinigay na itong si negative 1, isinisen... Isinisen? Isisin... I sini synthetic division ko pa rin siya para lang malaman ko yung susunod ng equation. Okay? Kung ito ay binigay na para makuha, parang dinidivide ko siya para makuha ko pa yung isang factor niya. Okay? So, doing synthetic division, we have here negative 1. Ito na yon yung test value natin. Automatic, ayan na siya. So, we have here 1, negative 1, negative 1, and then positive 1. Okay, so we have here, <laughs> but positive yung sinudat ko doon. Wait lang. So, this will be 1. Okay, so bring down 1. 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. 1 times negative 1 is... Ilan? Negative 1. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. It means, tama nga, ito nga ay roots nito. Kasi wala tayong remainder nung tinray natin. Okay, since okay na tayo dyan, okay na tayo kay negative 1, so, try naman natin yung isa pa. Okay, yung positive 1 naman yung itry natin. Positive 1. Pero, hindi na ito yung gagamitin natin. Kaya, ako ipinatry pa rin ito para yung gagamitin yung next equation, eto na. O, yung mga gagamitin yung bagong numerical coefficient, eto na. So, we have here 1, negative 2, and then 1. Okay, let's try kung positive 1. So, bring down, bring down, bring down 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Negative 2 times 1. Ah, negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 1 plus negative 1 is 0. Ibig sabihin, si positive 1 is one of the roots. Okay? So, ngayon, pwede na natin siyang ilagay... Uh, 
Oh, mamaya na. So, we have here, ang natitira na lang natin ay 1, negative 1. Pag ganito, kung isusulat natin siya sa equation na ganito, ito ay magiging x minus 1. Kahit hindi na natin gawin yung synthetic division, makukuha na natin yung value ni x. Itong yung last value natin by equating this to 0. So, ibig sabihin, yung isa nating factor or yung isa nating root will be x equals 1. So, ang roots natin ay negative 1, 1, and another 1. Nagets ninyo, ha? Eto, eto yan, ha? Hindi ko na siya synthetic division kasi mas madali na lang siyang gawing equation. And then, kunin yung value ni x. So, meron na tayong isa, dalawa, tatlo. Therefore, okay, the roots are, tignan nyo, anong mapapansin nyo? Positive 1, positive 1. So, yung 1, dalawang beses siya naging factors. Pwede natin gamitin yung term na multiplicity. Pag multiplicity, ibig sabihin, nauulit siya. Okay? Uh, paano ba yun? Inexplain ba sa inyo yun? Kung kunyari, uh, tatlong beses mo siya, instead na ilagay mo na 3, 3, 3, tatlong beses na si 3, eto ay ang kanyang uh, roots. Instead na ganyan ang gawin mo, pwede mo siyang gawing 3 multiplicity of 3. O kaya kunyari, yung nakuha mong roots ay 4, dalawang 4. Instead na ilagay mo na 4 and 4, 4 multiplicity of 2. Okay, na-gets na yun siya. So, the roots are negative on the... The roots are 1 multiplicity of... Ilang beses siyang ginamit? Dalawang beses, 2. And negative 1. Oh, so, eto na yung mga roots natin. Okay? So, yun yung gamit ni multiplicity. Okay, next number, number 2. Okay, we have here number 2, 3 x raised to 4 plus 2 x raised to 3 minus 13 x squared minus 8 x plus 4 equals 0. Where one of our roots is x equals to 2. Okay, so first identify muna natin, identify muna natin yung p and q. Ang p natin dito ay 3 and then 4. So ano yung mga factors ni 3 and 4? Okay, so we have positive negative 1, positive negative 2 para kay 4 kasi 2 times 2, positive negative 3 kasi 1 times 3, diba? Positive negative 4, tama? Kasi uh, 1 times 4 is 4 and then positive, <laughs> sorry, positive negative ano, 3 fourths. Wait. So, we have here, positive, negative, 3 fourths. Okay, yung fraction niya, kasi pag ito ay multiply sa 1. Okay, so, eto na. Pero dahil binigyan na tayo ng isang root, gamitin na muna natin to ha? Pababain lang muna natin ito by synthetic division. So, dahil to yan, we have here 2, and then we have 3, 2, negative 13, negative 8, and then 4. I-check mo muna, ha? dapat standard form siya in decreasing order and dapat walang missing na term. So, dahil kompleto na siya, simply getting 3, 2, negative 13, negative 8, and 4. Yun yung pinaka kagawin ninyo. Okay, now, let's try to substitute a substitute. Let's try to do a synthetic division. Okay, so we have here 3. Bring down 3. 3 times 2 is, how many? We have 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. Negative 13 plus 16 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. Negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. 4 times negative 4 is 0. Kaya si 2, talagang roots na siya, ha? Kasi nag-zero siya dito. O, ginawa ko lang yan para makuha ko na to yung susunod natin. So, we have here 3, 8, 3, and then negative 2. So, eto yung mga possible natin. Sige, try muna natin kay positive 1. Tignan natin kung mag-zero yung remainder natin. Tignan natin kung factor siya. 
Okay, so let's try positive 1. So this is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 8 plus 3 is 11. 11 times 1 is 11. 3 plus 11 is... I know. 11 times 1, tama, is 11. 3 plus 11 is... 14, 14 times 1 is 14. So, negative 2 plus 14 is 12. So, dahil hindi siya 0, 1 is not part of the roots. So, let's try negative 1. O, same pa rin tayo ha. Dito pa rin tayo babalik. We have 3, 8, 3, and negative 2. Okay, so let's try negative 1. So, we have here 3. 3 times negative 1 is... Negative 3. 8 plus negative 3 is a 5. 5 plus times negative 1 is negative 5. 3 plus negative 5, negative 2. Negative 2 times negative 1 is 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Yay! So, negative 1 is one of the roots. Okay, so we have this one na. Ang gagamitin na natin, eto naman yung susunod kasi nag-zero na tayo dito. So, we have 3, 5, and negative 2. So, nagamit na natin si positive negative 1. Okay na tayo kay positive 2. Try naman natin si negative 2. Tingnan natin kung magiging okay siya kay negative 2. So, we have here 3. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 5. K okay, added to negative 6 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 2 is positive 2. Tapos negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Ibig sabihin, si negative 2 is also part of the uh, root. So, meron ka na kaninang isa. Dalawa, tatlo, isa na lang, okay? Kesa yung synthetic division nyo to, ba Sinabi ko sa inyo, pwede nyo na siyang gawing equation, yung may x na siya. So, magiging 3x minus 1 equals 0 na siya. Eto, ba So, ngayon, ang gagawin nyo, dahil naka-equate siya kay 0, find x na siya. So, 3x equals 2, eto, ililipat doon 1, and then divided by 3. So, your x is equal to 1 over 3. Ayan na. Kompleto na yung mga ano natin, yung mga roots natin. Therefore, the roots are, so, wala tayong naulit kaya wala tayong multiplicity, ha? So, we have, wait, therefore, the roots are yung 2 na given natin, negative 2. Negative 1 and 1 third. So, ayun, ganun lang kumuha ng roots. Ngayon, kung naintindihan at nagustuhan mo ang video na ito, please huwag kalimutang i-like, i-share, at mag-comment. Please, yun lang talagang hinihiling ko sa inyo. At kung ikaw ay bago pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, huwag kalimutang pindutin ang subscribe button at ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!